how's everybody doing today? I was like, let me do a live, even though I want to take a nap. But I know, I know it's been a while, so I was like, let me let me do a live today and stop playing. Okay, Diva Hey Shawanda, how you doing? I am okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm just tired. I'm on West Coast. Am I attending South by? I need to submit my um I need to submit my credentials. Thank you for reminding me. I'll probably do that when I get off. <sighs> this is why I don't have finger waves. I think somebody was like, Sharonda, I love you with your finger waves. And I was like, trying to keep your hair cute. This I love my finger waves, but trying to keep your hair cute? No. It's it's ghetto, okay. Um, oh, you'll be there? Yeah, I'm gonna try. If they let me in, child, I'll be there for a couple of days. I ain't got no PTO at work, so I have to. I can't go everywhere. Um. Yeah, it's terrible, and it's terrible having finger waves when you work out, cause like, how's your hair gonna last? Even trying to sleep, like, so enjoy it for these two weeks, because baby, they're going away, all right? Um, literally, I'm going to make my hair appointment for next week, because I'm tired. I can't, I can't live like this anymore. I just can't. I can't do it. Um, South by Southwest is in March, I think. Let me see. Let me look it up. I go for the film festival. I think it's March 10th through the 19th. I'm not going to be there the whole time. I'll probably just be there the first weekend. <clears throat> Am I reviewing Ant-Man? Yeah, my baby in it. Um, Yeah, but you know, the red was really growing on me, y'all, because I normally do red like during Christmas. But I don't know. I might have to go back to the blind, or maybe I might do red one more time. And then for the summer, you know, get a little blind action spring summer um how many of y'all how many of y'all have are excited for the last of us how many of y'all are excited about that i will be at sundance just for four days like four days that's it oh i got like bags under my eyes oh no So, um, I'm going to do a review on Monday. I just did not have the time to do it before I left. I'm going to rewatch the first episode tonight. Um, I have an award show that I have to be at tomorrow. So, um, I'm going to have to do like a raggedy, like pre-recorded -pre in my hotel room, um, for the first episode. But yeah, I'm not going to lie to y'all. If you played the games... Um, if you play the games, you're going to love it. If you haven't played the games, you're going to love it. It's a really great show. Like, it's really good. It is true to, it is very true to the games. Um, and even for certain characters, um, they kind of flesh out, give them a more of a story than what they had, but it doesn't take away from it. Um, there's minor tweaks that are made in the season, um, but it's minor tweaks that are made, but nothing that's like crazy, just like minor, minor things. But yeah, I can't wait to review it for you guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be, I'm going to be out of, I'm traveling for the next two weeks. So I'm here. I've been in LA since Thursday. Um, because I have an award show to go to. Maybe we'll do a get ready with me tomorrow uh for the awards. And um and I'm doing interviews for I'm doing interviews for you people. Um I get to I get to interview Eddie Murphy today. I'm very excited about that. I get to interview Eddie Murphy and Nia Long and Laura London and Kenya Barris and Sam J and Travis Bennett. And David, actually, let me see. Who am I interviewing today? That's a good question. Let me see. Who 
Because I feel like I'm reading off more names than what was listed. Let me see. Because maybe I just lied. Let me make sure. Do, do, do. Okay, yeah. So I get to, yeah, Julia, uh, Louis Dreyf uh, Dreyfus, and David Duchovny. So yeah, I get to interview the whole cast of you people. <clears throat> hey, Kristen. I haven't talked to you in so long. I gotta call you too. I'm slacking everywhere. I'm slacking. You know, Jonah Hill doesn't do press anymore. So he's not, he doesn't do interviews anymore. Um, so yeah, so, um, yeah, that's, that's life right now. Someone asked, um, not you ain't see me in a month of Sundays. I've been trying to get my life together. It's so terrible. I'm trying to get my life together. Yeah, I've been working so much and I've honestly, I honestly just been trying not to have a nervous breakdown right now. So I'm sorry I haven't been able to do lives. I'm sorry I haven't been able to record. Like by the time I get to the end of the day and I'm just like, oh, I want to do a video. I just, I don't have it in me. Kristen can vouch for me. I really be like, I wake up, I'll be like, Kristen, girl, I'm finna, I'm finna do a mega review. I'm finna do a Your Honor review. I'm finna do all these reviews and it don't ever happen. So I'm sorry. I haven't played the Last of Us games because I suck at video games, um, but I actually did watch a playthrough of the game. Um, so that's why, but I did it after. I would definitely not tell y'all to... I don't, if you haven't played the game, you do not need to watch gameplay to understand the story. Um, and I will honestly tell you, do not watch any of, I would tell you not to watch any of the gameplay until after you watch it, because you don't want stuff spoiled for you. So I would tell you, do not watch the playthrough, um, because the show is good on its own. You don't need to know the source material of the game in order to understand what's happening in the show. So I don't want, I would tell you, do not do that. I didn't watch it until after I um, watched the entire series um, because I didn't want, I wanted to do a review that would still be beneficial to people who played the game, who know the story and also to people who don't know the story. Um, so, so yeah. Yes, you will get a Last of Us, but it's going to be like this. It ain't going to be no no green screen, no nothing. Um, and after the first two episodes, I'll be back. And so I'll have a recap video that comes out as soon as the episode is done. And then I will do a live about it as well. Um, so, so, yeah. Um, I am in L.A. right now. Um, I'm in L.A. Um, I have to do interviews for you people today which is what I should be getting ready for. I have interviews in two hours um, with the cast. And then I have tomorrow's the Critics' Choice Awards. So you guys should watch that. You might see me on TV. Probably not because I'm going to be in the nosebleeds, but it's okay. I'm going to be in the room. Um, so tomorrow's the Critics' Choice Awards. So I get to dress up. That's why I have finger waves. So I get to put on a nice, a nice pretty dress and... Um, you know, mingle with the celebs. But y'all know I ain't going to talk to nobody. Um, <laughs> now she hanging with her famous friends. I'm done with you. You know what? Like, um, that's one of my fears. That's why I wanted to do a live today because I didn't want it to be like, dang, like, hey, y'all notice ever since Sharonda, Sharonda been getting flued out and stuff, the Sheen got time for us no more. Like, I don't want to be no sellout. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Ever since I've been here, I've been so congested for no reason. So I just don't understand. Okay. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> I think the Critics Choice Awards comes on the CW. Don't give me the I think it's the CW. Let me see. Okay.
Oh, you can actually watch the awards on Direct TV stream, Fubo, I almost said Fubo, y'all, Fubo TV, Hulu, and Live TV. Oh, I didn't even know that. Um, but it's on CW Network. I did not know that. The more you know. Um, hey, Reggie, where you been? What do people think of Velma? I mean, I didn't hate Velma like everybody else. Like, I get the critiques of Velma. Um, I actually have interviews with the cast coming out for that, too. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, as far as Megan, I really like Megan. Like, I just like fresh ideas. And I like the campiness and just how just cringy it was at times i loved it i definitely think that megan can take chucky because megan has like robot strength and chucky is just chucky's arms little hands not even is like it's no competition okay one of the the only critique that i will have of the movie is there should have been more kills it should have been a rated r movie more blood more gore more kills that's it because megan really don't start killing people until like like, she kills people, but it's, like, off camera. So, it's, like, just alluded to that she kills someone. But, um, but, yeah. So, I like, I liked it. Um, but, yeah. Hey, Mimi. Did I see it in this house party? Yes, I have interviews with that cast. I got interviews for House Party, for Vikings Valhalla, for Velma, uh, the pale blue eye still. I'm very backed up. I'm very backlogged. Um, so much that I haven't even been doing new interviews anymore, except for today. But, <laughs> but yeah, I saw House Party. It it was. I have things that I like about House Party. Um, I love the cameos. It's my favorite part of the movie. Um, but yeah, and this is actually a great example on how I. Um, I, I almost missed how this is one of those examples where I'm just not going to review a black movie because God forbid that I talk down on a black movie. But I enjoyed the talent that's in it. Um, it's just I didn't. Yeah, it's fine. It's not terrible. It's not horrible. It's just it didn't hit for me the entire time. So, yeah. Um, have people seen Velma and and love it, hate it? Am I er am I interviewing Nia? Yes, I'm interviewing Nia and Lauren London today. Should they reboot Baby's Kids? No, I think we should just leave classics alone. Honestly, I didn't see the Silent Twins. Um, is what similar to the original? Velma is nowhere near anything like. Scooby Doo, so I don't want y'all to go in thinking that you're gonna get Scooby Doo because you're not. It's like imagine, imagine if a uh, Scooby Doo, it's like Scooby Doo meets Daria, but more vulgar. I saw the full season of Velma. I think I did. How many episodes? I I I don't know if it's a full season. I saw eight episodes of Velma. Is House Party, it's like a different story. It's the same premise. And they, you know, they play, pay homage to the old one. I did watch Hunter season two. I did. I like season two. I, the only issue I had with Hunter season two is they kind of go, it's like two separate storylines. Like what's happening in present day. And then they do something like they basically in season two, like while it's the present day story, they also show kind of how how Meyer recruited all of the people to be in the Little Hunters group. Um, but I just thought it was weird because it's just like, I mean, it's the final season. No point for to get a backstory now if this is the last season. So I just thought that that part of it was a little weird. And I didn't think that it was necessary to do all of that. Um, but I still liked it. Um, but yeah, I do think it took way too long for them to come out with the... Uh, it took way too long for them to come out with a new season. I will agree with that
No, there's no Scooby. This is like when they were in high school. I haven't seen sick. Is it good? It started off weak, but then it got crazy. Y'all got rid of HBO Max? The first, what are you talking about, BD? Are you talking about Velma? Oh, Black Mail Games. You mentioned BMF. I asked them for screeners, and I still haven't gotten them. That's why I haven't done BMF. But I saw the first episode. <laughs> I like the menu. I thought it was funny, like scary. It, it just had really great performances. I love Ralph Fiennes in it. Um, Nicholas Holt is good in it. He's so good at playing like a douche. And um, Hong Chow um, was in it as well. I thought it was cool. I liked it. I gotta get used to like having regular black eyebrows again. Um, did I like, I, thought, I mean, it was okay for me to get through. I was watching it to do interviews, um, but I can see people's criticisms of it. I just think that you have to go into it. Um, I feel like you need to leave the original out of it for you to really enjoy it. Um, but yeah. I haven't drawn my eyebrows with a pencil in so long. Like I don't even know how to do it anymore. So many people got rid of um, HBO. I don't know why these shoes, how shoes keep making this noise, so I'm gonna come out of it. Why are you getting rid of Netflix? Y'all bugging. I don't see how y'all can get rid of Netflix. Hey, you new man. You was bootlegging Lovecraft Country. Tell the truth, you was bootlegging Lovecraft Country. Now, I do feel like I could get rid of Netflix, I mean, of Hulu. Like, if y'all had to get rid of one of the streaming platforms, what would it be? And you can't say Amazon Prime because don't we all have Prime included? I don't know when did my eyebrows get so thick? Cause I'm not even like drawing this bigger. Like I'm just connecting the dots. I didn't like Kendrick. I think uh, it's not terrible, but Kendrick has a casting issue. I just felt like some of the characters could have needed to be switched. And I just think Dana doesn't act with them changing how, with them changing like her and Kevin's relationship from the book um, and changing the time period is, it changes the entire dynamic. Yeah, Kevin wasn't given in real life. I don't know. I feel like having black eyebrows isn't given right now. We're gonna we're gonna make it work though. To be not free no more. I got Paramount Plus because of these dang on kids. Someone said Missa was good. You talking about your honor laundry? And if you have Showtime, the, the new episode of Your Honor Season 2 came out yesterday. Uh, a Medea class reunion. 
No. <laughs> I kind of like that um, Tyler is doing more prestige films. You see his next movie is a World War II drama. I kind of kind of love that for him. Where am I off to? No, where I got interviews. I got interviews today. Um, then I'm going to get right back in this bed. Sorry, I keep turning away, but you know, the eyebrows is the most important part. <clears throat> I'm, I'm in LA. I'm in LA right now. And... I like the best man. I still had um, issues with the best man because I felt like they were just doing like they would introduce like storylines and give it a quick wrap up or never come back to it again. Kind of like the whole thing with like the, the white lady and merch and the whole storyline with Lance and, and his son, um, I just felt like they needed to let some of the storylines breathe a little bit more. I felt like they were just rushing through stuff. And I also don't like how they handled Robin's storyline. But let's be honest, Robin had no business marrying Harper in the first place. Um, so I definitely didn't like that storyline. And the Me Too stuff, like... That was really unresolved. I didn't like that either. Um, but yeah, I still liked it overall though. Even like when um, the whole thing with, what's Terrence Howard's character's name? I can't think, I didn't watch too much stuff since then. What's his name? Robin had me upset because in the first episode, you in paradise with your husband, but you cooking, like you would rather go cook than be with your husband in paradise without your kid. It just, Quentin, yeah. The whole thing with Quentin and Shelby, like, hey, you have a child. And him just being okay with that, wouldn't nobody be okay with that? Even the first two episodes weren't needed. It was just weird. Some things just didn't make sense. Uh, and then even the whole land storyline like you a man of God but you out here banging people, banging different chicks every night I ain't saying it's far fetched but for how high and mighty he became and he was doing all of that I was like now nah, sir come on now come on now and honestly, I wish like when his son, when he was talking to his son about God, I'd be like, and you talking to me about God and you got a different, you banging a different shit every day of the week. <clears throat> Don't slut shame him. No, it's not slut shaming. It's the fact that I felt like you, this goes into like some biases, especially when you talk about the LGBT community, and especially when it relates to the church, because you sitting up here saying you're going to hell for who you love, but you out here com committing sin because you're having sex and you're not married. So what is it going to be? I feel like that should have been addressed too. Like what example are you having for your children you supposed to be this super Christian, but you out here sinning every day of your life. Y'all quiet on me. Y'all quiet. It, am I, is, it, is it becoming a little bit too real? Is it becoming too real? I'm just saying. People always got something to say. They be, they be acting like it's only... 
one cent of the book to them. So that's all I'm saying. I wish that that actually would have been brought up because I felt like that would have been a great conversation to be had. So um, I just felt like it was some things like we could have explored deeper. And I feel like that would have been a great um, like topic to have. I'm happy that it did happen to an alpha male. Like, I really don't like my eyebrows. Let me just see how it looks with the rest of this. Maybe because I haven't had black eyebrows in a minute. It's really throwing me off. Like, it's sending me right now. <clears throat> yeah, it's the bathroom. I think it's all the lights. I think it's like all these lights. Yeah, it's these. Sorry, y'all. Um, my bad. It's the best I can do. Are you talking about the eyebrows look pronounced? Yeah, but like you saw me draw them. Like it's this is like the shape of my eyebrow. That's why I don't understand. Like, do I need to make it thinner? Oh, y'all think I should make them thinner? I don't know why they're so big. Like, all I did was like trace them. Maybe it's the brush. I used the pencil, but all I did was just I filled in like the spots that were like empty still. Okay, we're gonna come back to this. Um. But yeah, so those are my only main issues. Storylines are very rushed. I hated merch and Candace's storyline. Um, and I also felt like their conflict should have been like, you're not present and I'm holding the house down for you. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's see if we can make this a little bit smaller. Remind you, not you said Beyonce and Dream Girls. You so disrespectful. Why you so disrespectful? Okay, let's operation make my eyebrows smaller. It's too big. I don't understand. That's what I'm trying to do. I just want you to know, like, I'm literally painting over my eyebrows right now. I just don't understand. Um... But yeah. What else have y'all been watching that y'all like? I don't know what else to do. You know what, y'all? They just gonna have to be big. Am I in an Airbnb? No, I'm in a hotel. Yeah, I just did the top of them. What did I think of the pale blue eye? I liked uh, I liked a uh, pale blue eye. It's like a slow burn, but like the end is good. Okay, I brought the arch up more. Is that better? I feel like that might be better. Just want y'all to know what it takes to try to get some small eyebrows. So, okay, I gotta bring my arch up, okay.
I want y'all to know I'm holding my breath like I'm really like performing surgery right now. Truly performing surgery. Truly performing surgery. Am I, they ain't doing no screener. I don't know, I hope I get invited to Am Man premiere. I hope I do. You know, I gotta support my man. <clears throat> I'm about to restart uh, Yellow Jackets. And also to just to let y'all know, your eyebrows are not supposed to be symmetrical. There's one eyebrow that's always bigger than the other. Just like you always got one titty bigger than the other titty. Okay. I think I think we're there. I think I think we're there. We're good. We're Gucci. We're Gucci now, okay? Because that was really, y'all, but that was really disrupting my spirit. That was really disrupting my spirit. Okay. I like that was her. Um, I'm very excited about Knock at the Cabin. Um, I did not know Elijah Wood was going to be in the season of Yellow Jackets. Gotta get rid of those harsh lines. Gotta buff that out. Um, I watched it in IMAX 3D. I just think where the wilds went wrong, the boys just wasn't given. The boys in the wilds, they just weren't giving. They weren't giving the same energy as the first one. The casting was terrible. Let's just be honest about that. Can we have an honest conversation about that? Can we be honest about the season two of The Wild having the boys ruined it? I was like, honey, y'all could have just stuck with the girls for this. Like, y'all could have just y'all could have just stuck with them for this. Cause I didn't understand. They need, they need a more attractive boys as well. I know we're not supposed to say things like that, and it's terrible, and I'm going to hell for that, but sometimes we just have to have honest conversations with ourselves. This light is truly irking my nerves, but we should we need to have, um, I haven't got any uh, screeners for that. Um, y'all, I got a zit on my head and it like hurts so bad. Like I can feel it. Anytime my forehead moves, it hurt. It hurt real bad. Uh, no, he, he was, he played a totally different character in in claws. Come on now. Here. And even in um because I know him from what was that prison show? It's not the wire. Eyes. Y'all used to, are y'all too old, too young to remember eyes. Are y'all too young to know about eyes? Have I heard anything about Black Panther spinoffs? Um, no, I mean, didn't they say they was doing a Dora Milaje spinoff? I don't get excited about announcements until I see somebody filming because people have ideas for shows. Y'all saw that they, um, y'all saw that, um, 
they canceled the final season of Snowpiercer. It was supposed to be one more season of Snowpiercer, and uh, TNT canceled it. Did y'all see that? Yeah, we did talk about Velma. Yeah, they were finished when they were done filming. Like, and they were like, ah, ah, nope. I was like, wow. I'm just shocked that if people will even work with them after all this messiness that they've done. Anytime I look down, like, does it really hurt that bad? So the last of us won't end up like, what's the last man? I think the, the negativity with Mindy isn't about, is the, the problem that people have with Mindy is, I guess she has a fetish of the woman of color falling in love with some like nerdy white man. Um, so people are starting to see that trend in all of her series, like Sex Lives of College Girls and uh, Mindy Project. So people, that's what people have an issue with. Um, so people are kind of like sick of it. They're over it. And I mean, but also too, this is why it's just really important because this is why I talk so much about making sure that like your characters can like love people who look like them. Cause I just feel like always having your characters in love with uh, like a, a white person. And I just want y'all to know my baby, my ex baby daddy used to be white. So like, I'm not racist, but like these tropes are constantly showcased on TV shows and in films, and it's another form of self-hate. Like other other South Asian people can't be in love with another South Asian person or another black person can't love another black person. Or like, it's just really crazy to me because like, it just perpetuates these stereotypes and it's just self-hate against your own race. And it's really crazy like that people do this. And I don't think like whether that's their intention or not, it like can mess up kids too. Because, you know, when I was growing up, even little things like hair, like you always saw like a black girl with like long straight hair. And it made me feel like, well, my hair is not long. So like, I must not be beautiful. And I know it could be like, well, Shrana, that's your own trauma. But that's what it presents to like, to kids, to young adults. Like, that's the problem. So that's why I will always be a stickler about love interests, about making sure that you have POC people that are in um, that are in roles where they're the desired. That's why I liked on the latest season of Never Have I Ever that she had she finally gave her like a fine Indian boy because I was just like, girl, like. It has to be, I've seen some fine Indian men. So like, why do y'all keep giving her all of these white love interests? And especially if her family is so into their culture, then why, you don't think that they will be trying to set her up with somebody of her own racial background? Like, come on now. That don't even make sense. That don't make sense. And that's the problem that I have with these shows. And then also too, like this further like has that stereotype on how black women are least desired, how um, Asian men are least desired. It's just, I don't think people understand. 
I don't think people understand like how ingrained that is into people's minds. I really don't think that they get it. I, you know what? I gotta change it, y'all. I know. My friend was like, "Uh, are you gonna take Chris off your header?" I got to. I'm gonna do it. I just want my. I just. I just want the best for him. Okay. I just. I just want the best for him. What happened on Law and Order? Hey, bougie Barbie. Now Mark is trying to call me out. I'm going to change it to Jonathan Majors. Just give me a moment. I'm, I'm leaving in mon on Monday. <laughs> Turn my volume off. And actually, put this on Do Not Disturb. My bad. Um, probably not for Vox Machina. If I do, it won't be until next week because I'm going to Sundance, so I'll be in Utah next week. Shayna, are you, is that still your baby daddy? Are you still sitting beside him? Are you still sticking beside him, Shayna? I'm proud of Lori. Oh, Shayna, you dumped him too? Oh, we can go through our breakup together. Oh, tricep, y'all. So I watched the first five episodes of Made for a Witches. I was so excited. I was like, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to do reviews on it. And to be honest with y'all, it is like so boring. It's so boring. Like, so boring. Nothing happens. The first five episodes that I saw, you like keep watching it because you just like, I mean, something got to happen. Like, just off the strength of Lestat and them, like, that, something got to happen, okay? But when I say it's so boring and nothing happens on that show, it is literally crazy. Was I dating someone? I wasn't dating anyone. I was married to, to Christopher Jamal Evans. But, um, you know, he left me um, for someone who is probably young enough to be, you know, his, his daughter, you know? If he had a kid at 16. But, but yeah. So, no. We're not together anymore. You know, it was really rough. But I took my time. And I got my mind ready. Okay? So, I've been in mourning. I'm going through. I went through a divorce. Okay? So, it was tough for all of us. But, you know, I wish him nothing but the best. Um, and yeah, the little pranks they were doing, you know, it was cute. It was cute and given, it was giving PR, but you know, what can you do? What can you do? So I'm going to let them have it. When you have to do pranks. To get the world to like your child, I mean girlfriend, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So whatever. I'm the prize, okay? I'll just have to be the one that got away. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I can I can be the one that got away. So that's fine. It could be shots fired, but y'all know, y'all know it was given PR. It was giving, it was giving everyone's upset. She's 16 years younger than me. So what can I do? I know we'll stage a prank because we still, to this day, we never forgot about the ice cream cone. 
We didn't forget about the PR stage ice cream cone. We didn't forget about that. Did y'all forget about it? Because I ain't forgot about it. You just casually taking a stroll in the park with ice cream. Y'all don't remember the ice cream cone with Lily James? It was giving, it was giving my PR team made me do this. It was giving, I had to, it was giving like, you haven't been seen with anyone for a while. So yeah. What did you think I was talking about, Marcus? So yeah, it's fine. And then I love when every time you like to hear some in People magazine, a source tells us that so-and-so have been dating for over a year and it's getting serious. You know how many beaches you just said it was serious about? You know how many times they said it was serious? Until I see someone get down on a knee, it's never serious. Never serious. It's serious. They've been dating for a year. Unless I see someone say they're pregnant. And we know that's not going to keep no man. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You think I'm phased? Never. Because you know what? Children... Children get bored with their toys easily, okay? Children get bored. Just saying. She gonna get tired. She gonna get tired, okay? Hey, Eli. I ain't even worried about it. Be worried for what? Children do play with boxes. Children play with the most random things and you really be sitting there like, why is this what entertains you today? So yeah, that's fine. That is fine by me. But you know what? Typically, whenever, whenever he makes like a public appearance or announces a girlfriend, they typically break up within the next six six to eight months. That's typically what happens. Cause that's what, baby, when I say Jenny was out of there, rekindled and out of there again, and now she married with a, uh, it's like every time they leave him, they date him and then they go find a husband and have a whole family, okay? So, yeah. That's what happened with Jessica. Cause you know him and Jessica, I think he was really in love with Jessica. I think he was really in love with her. You gotta play the long game. Stay ready and gotta get ready. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Literally, like, everybody has, like, married other people. It's really crazy. Like, it, it's giving red flag. It's giving... It's, it's giving we need to heal some things, okay? I have not seen Plain, but I heard it was good, though. I have heard from people it was good. Let me make sure, because I be talking to y'all and I be getting sidetracked. So yeah. Um, isn't Sebastian with somebody too? I would never forgive the person. What's the name of the girl who plays in the one where the crawdag scene? I would never forgive her for blocking me from interviewing Sebastian. I would never forgive her. Never. Not never. 
Never ever. Never. Yes, Shayna. That is exactly who it was. I would never. They did, she denied me for an interview, but the interview was paired. It was for Fresh. The interview was paired with the both of them. So if one person denies you, you can't interview them. And that's how I lost out on my interview with Sebastian Stan. I will never get over it. Never. Never, ever. Because I'm a petty beast, okay? Just know, I have so many story times for y'all because so much has happened. And I just recently had like a door. Actually, I can tell you. Actually, let me tell you how the Lord was looking out for me. I haven't seen the Proud Family. Um, The Lord was looking out for me and how I literally almost missed my flight on Thursday. So I don't know what I was doing. Um, he They approved me, but... If they're paired, if one person doesn't approve, you can't do it. That's just how it works. Uh, so, so yeah. So, basically, um, I had a flight. It left at 4.30. Uh, so, you know, I was working my day job because I ain't got no vacation because I thought they was going to fire me. So, I ain't got no PTO, okay? So, I'm on my way to the airport. I'll, I'll be like, okay, I can leave at 3. I'll be to the airport at 4.30. Excuse me. I'll be at the airport at 4.30 with Gucci. Wrong. I get in the car. It starts to <laughs> torrential. Do y'all know I used to call it torrential? I thought it was tarantula downpour. I really thought it was tarantula downpour, not like torrential downpour. I thought it was tarantula. Don't ask me why. Like, I, I don't know why, but, you know, we have our moments, okay? Just, I'm just being honest with y'all, but I thought it was like tarantula downpour. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know where I got that from. I swear I'm college educated. I have an MBA. I promise I'm educated. But for some reason, that's what I thought it was, okay? So, we get in the car. And we get in the car and then it just starts like pouring down rain. Okay. So it's like a whole storm. I'm on my way to the airport. They send out the little burr, burr. and I was like, is it an amber alert? They were like, shelter in place, shelter in place. It's a tornado warning, shelter in place. And I was like, the heck this plane taking off? So I'm going to check my thing because then I'm like, you know. We Gucci then, like they talking about, they talking about shelter in place. It's gonna be a tornado. I'm like, now isn't this why I moved from the Midwest so we wouldn't have tornadoes? So I'm like, well, good. That means that my flight's gonna be delayed, and I don't have to worry about not making it to y'all are so disrespectful. See, this is why I can't be vulnerable with y'all. Okay, this is why I can't be vulnerable with y'all. So. I'm thinking they're going to delay my flight, okay? Because it literally says there's a tornado warning until 4.15. Like, they are literally telling us, like, you need to shelter in place. It's not it's not safe. So, I get to the airport. They have not delayed my flight. I get to the airport at 3.55. The flight's still taking off at 4.30. So, then I'm thinking I had Delta 1. And let me be clear, when I say that I have Delta 1, yes, that's first class. No, I ain't got no money. I had an upgrade certificate because I um, I hit Diamond. So I had an upgrade certificate. So it was a free upgrade. For y'all start being like, ooh, look at this beach. Look at this beach. She got all this money now. That's why she can't do no lie because she out here flying first class. Okay, that's besides the point. Now. So I... Um, and don't act like y'all wasn't y'all was thinking when y'all was younger it was tarantula. Y'all sit up here. I'm sitting up here trying to be honest with y'all. I'm trying to be honest with y'all, and y'all y'all sitting up here doing all of this. So, um, oh my goodness, did I not take my dang? When you need like your special brush and you don't have it. 
And now you got to like bootleg another brush. Okay. So now you know how to not drink mimosas. We are drinking whiskey straight. Thank you. Make it a double because y'all know y'all be taking forever to come back to refill. So make it a double. Um, okay. Besides the point, let me get back to the story. So I, so I make it to the counter. It's three fifty-five. I asked the people at the Delta One counter. I said, "Can I please go in front of y'all? My flight literally leaves in thirty minutes." So they let me go because you know sometimes people be rude as hell. So, um, so I get to the counter and it was this nice lady. She was so sweet. I wish I had her name so I could write like a kudos for her. And so she was like, "Well, honey." She's like, how you doing today? I said, girl, I'm probably going to miss my flight. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm still alive. I'm still here. So I'm okay. She was like, that's a really nice attitude to have. I said, well, baby, I'm working on positivity in 2023, honey. That's what I said I was going to do. I said I was going to be a more positive human being. And that's where we at. I can't change nothing. I can't take back the hands of time. So she was like, you right. So she says, well, typically there's a grace period. But you passed the grace period that we have. So... Um, so basically she was like, I can put you on a 6.30 flight, but there's nothing else I can do. So, um, I was like, ma'am, I really need to make this flight. There is no way that this flight is leaving on early. Like, what can I do? And then she was like, well, you can try to go through, um, the, you can try to go to TSA, and then she looked at my bag. When I tell y'all my bag is big as hell, like my bag go up to my hip. That's how tall my bag is. So she asked the dude and he looked, he was like, that's up to you. And she was like, well, should I get like a red coat? So she was really trying to help me. He wasn't trying to do nothing. That's why I was like, I thank the Lord. Cause I was trying to get to his line, like hoping like the black man gonna help me. But he was, he was on some hate and stuff. So she called the person. She called for the red coat to come and he looked and I was like I just really need to make it like he was like they can throw your stuff out. I said just let them throw it out like just I got I told him I was like I gotta try I have to try I can't just give up now I said I come too far to give up and so he was like go ahead so I go to TSA and then I'm like getting the pre-check the pre-check line is only one line it's long as hell it's only one person they're going so slow so I'm trying to do it and I'm like Everybody in the line, they was like, well, if you, if I wouldn't let you go ahead of me, but I'm behind you. I said, I know. I'm going to try to just be patient. So I make it through the TSA thing. So I'm going through putting, I didn't even think my bag was going to fit in the little TSA thing. So it fit. And he was like, but do you have like aerosol? Because if it's over a certain thing, I'm going to have to stop you and I'm going to have to throw all the stuff out. I said, baby, just whatever you got to do. Like, I don't have time to be opening the suitcase and trying to rearrange stuff. It's 4.15. My flight leaves in 15 minutes, okay? I'm making through TSA and throw nothing away. So now I'm running, okay? I'm running. I'm running. Then I start breathing hard because I was like, oh, snap, I got asthma. Oh, Jesus, Lord. So I'm trying to run. So I'm running. And then my asthma, my lungs was like, hold on, bitch. Like, you know that you, you know you can't be doing all this running now. So I had to stop running. So then I had to go to like a little power walk. So I'm like trying to walk real fast. And then I'll get into the gate. And then I make it to the gate. And I was like, the door is closed. And I was like, I did all of this. And I tried to make it. I said, is the gate closed? He was like, he was like, yeah, but it's because of the weather. And I was like, did the plane leave already? He was like, no. And he was like, we had to stop boarding because of the weather. I was like, oh. You know what was playing in my head? Oh, I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. That's what was playing in my head. I was like, oh, look at the Lord making the way out of no way. But then they got on my nerves because then they started profiling me. So I get to the front and he was looking like, first they looking like, they let you through TSA with that bag. I said, the Lord was on my side today. They sure did. And then he was like, well, you're going to have to check that at the gate. I said, beach, that was the point. And then here come this little, you know, that little hating ass person. This this him coming out of nowhere. Let me show you him coming out of nowhere. You're going to have to pay for that bag. Beach, okay. I said, that's fine. That's fine. I'll pay for the bag. Talk about you got to pay for it. Okay, ho, and so he was like, so then he was like, let me see, let me see your boarding pass. So I showed them the Delta One first class beach, and so I showed them the pass. They was like, 
Oh, they was like, thank you for your service. Thank you for being a Diamond Medallion member. Go ahead. You don't have to pay for your bag. Bish, I know I ain't got to pay for my damn bag, okay? I know I don't. But why did you profile me like that? Why couldn't I? Why couldn't I be Diamond? Okay? Huh? Whole attitude change. Whole attitude. Oh, we'll take care of your bag. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for your uh, service. With the thank you. I was like... So, so now y'all want to be nice. But I said, you know what? Because y'all know, y'all know I would have called in on them, okay? Because this is one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to call in about my experience, all right? But I said, you know what? The Lord, the Lord let me make my flight. And I said, that's fine. That's fine, okay? So I let it go. I let it go. But stop doing that. Why do we do that? Because that's not the first time that's happened to me. Like, it's not the first time it's happened. Status don't look like nothing, okay? I be going to the to the plane in sweats. Oh, I guess that's somebody upstairs. I be going on in sweats and a hoodie. Like, I don't have to dress like I have status, but I don't know why people, why do people act like you got to look a certain type of way in order to, like, to think that somebody is, like, of status. I just didn't like that. But it is what it is. It's just, but it be our own people. Like, this was all, it was all black people. And you should have seen their face when they saw that I was first class and that I was diamond. You really should have seen their face. They were, like, they were, like, shocked, okay? Shocked. And I'm just like, but why? And why would I be dressed up to be on a five-hour flight? Who does that? Who does that? Like, that don't even make sense. Why am I dressing up to be on this infested, germ-infested plane? For what? So I don't understand. Somebody got mad at me because I remember I was in St. Lucia, and I had, like, the same issue. Like, you know, they just treat other people different and it's just really crazy because like you i'm telling you now i ain't got no money okay i don't have money but most people who have money like that like millionaires the millionaires that i've met they be dressing like they dress like regular people when, when people really have money they don't dress like they have money because they got money and they don't need to prove to you that they have money okay like I just, I don't understand when we started doing that, but it was just very disheartening. But I was like, whatever, man. I got on that play. I said, that's why I try to be really nice to people. Like, I, cause you just, mm, it's just crazy. Ooh, speaking of cars, can we, so we had some good moments happen. I need to blend this out. I don't know what they're doing above me, but they need to stop. So, today, not today, last week, okay? So, um, so last week, I had enough, okay? I've been at my wits end with Sadie, <coughs> aka my car. Sadie just hasn't been acting right. For the past week, Sadie is trying to get me, trying to get me arrested because Sadie doesn't lock anymore. I have to completely take the key out because like the key not working right. It doesn't lock. I be like trying to pull at it to get it to unlock and don't unlock. So I said, you know what? The gas tank, when I was taking it to the gas station, it wasn't filling up all the way. It will only let me fill the tank up to half a tank. I could never do, I could never do any more than half a tank. And so I said, you know what? I'm done. I'm gonna go buy my car today. <laughs> so um I was gonna get the used car, but my pride, it just wouldn't let me buy it from them because they were so rude to me the first time. And granted, they were trying to be better, but you know. 
they were just being rude and I never got over that. So I was like, I'm not going to go to them. So I found like another car. I decided I was going to get a brand new car because to be honest, like as y'all can see, I ride my car until the wheels fall off, literally fall off. So I don't need to get another car anytime soon after this one. So I had found a car and I was going to go buy it. So I looked online because I had found two cars, two color schemes. And I'm like, why they sell the cars? Like in less than a week of me looking at it, they had sold the cars, both of them. Okay. One of them wasn't even on it. It wasn't even there yet in it sold. So I said F it. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't a hundred percent sold on the color scheme anyway. So I just said, I'm going to build my own car. I'm going to, if I'm going to spend all this money, then I'm going to build my car and I'm going to get the color that I like with the interior that I like. And we're going to call it a day. So last weekend, I went to the dealership, even though they got on my, my nerves. And I bought my car. They're building it right now. Um, probably not going to get it for another two to four months. But I just want y'all to know, since I have a car note, it was a very depressing experience. So I'm not excited about it. So I just want y'all to know, because of that, I'm going to get back to doing reviews. Okay? Because we... Hold on. Hello? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. All right. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Bye. They was calling me like I was in trouble or something. I was like, what the hell I do? So, yeah. So, I think Sadie know. I think, I think Sadie know that her days are limited because all of a sudden I went to go get some gas the other day because it, it was really pissing me off because I ran out of gas quicker because I like when you can only fill your car up to half a tank like that goes pretty quickly so it was really starting to piss me off actually <laughs> so I think Sadie knew her days were numbered because when I went to fill my car up um when I went to fill it up, I was like, damn, why is it taking so long for the car to fill up? And then I realized it let me fill the tank all the way up. And then I had hit a lock to get into my car. It actually worked. So I said, so after I order a new car, this, this bitch want to act right. That's like when, when your significant other, they know they've been effing up. And then all of a sudden they try to act right for a couple of weeks. So, yeah. It was a strange thing, but this last time the tank filled up the entire entire way. So I was just I was confused. I think I forgot to clean my ears today. Please make sure y'all be cleaning your ears. Okay. Let's see what other stories do I have for y'all. So I actually got a manly color. That's what my well, one of my friends said it looked like vomit, and I was just like hater, but whatever. Um so the I got a green exterior with the peanut butter seats so yeah yeah it's the green with the uh the san remo green with the cognac interior so yeah no i got the four series i don't like the i don't like four door cars i like two doors because uh, I don't want people to feel like they could ride in my car, okay? Cuz 
happens to me. People, I don't like people in my car. One time I got into a car. I, the real reason is I got into a car accident when I was younger and when I was in high school and one of my friends was in the car and then they were trying to say, oh, my neck hurt. And that's why I don't, I don't really like people riding in my car like that. Cause God forget, forbid something happens and then somebody try to like sue you or something. So yeah, no. So yeah. Yes, I'll be reviewing The Last of Us. Yeah, that's why I really just, you have to be careful. Or people think that you got money or come from money. Yes, I had to give away my firstborn child, but I got my screener for it. How much, what do you mean? I, I don't have a car note. My car's paid off now. So I will have to have a car note, which is why I will be expecting y'all to watch all reviews. It don't cost y'all nothing, okay? I got bills to pay for it. But it's not, you know, the fourth series, that's not, it's not that it's, well, it's expensive, but it's not. Because somebody's like, oh, your car costs 100000 I said, now, bitch, do it look like I can afford a $100,000 car? No. Uh, ain't nowhere near it. I don't know. I don't know how people be getting eighty thousand dollars, seventy thousand. I can't do it. But this was very depressing because from when I bought my first car to now, car no double. These car notes are ridiculous. Okay, these car notes are like absolutely ridiculous. If we don't need a car. I will tell you, do not buy one. But y'all know I needed a new one. It really, but all these cars, like any luxury car is over 30K now. Hey, I ain't mad at the Corolla. And the crazy part is that's what I paid for my BMW. That's what I paid for my BMW beast. I think it was like 36 maybe. That's what I paid for my BMW. When I bought it. Just to show y'all how inflation is. That's what I paid for a BMW. And when did I buy that car? Was it 20? It was either 2010 or 2011. Let me see, 2009, I graduated. It was either 20, maybe it was 2012. Yeah, inflation is crazy, but I don't think it's gonna go down. Oh, did y'all know my friend told me that when we had all those pipes burst, that at my old place, the pipe, like the whole place flooded. <laughs> I just got the car. I was like, I need a car more than I need a house. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Yes. The, the old apartment complex. Yes. I was like, dang. I was like, karma. 
just karma. First of all, this is like my favorite hotel. I personally can't afford it, but like the bathroom, like the entire like bathroom, I just love because it's so big. And this is the shower. Can y'all see it? That's one. And that's the other part of the shower. I love this place so much. I need to find me a sugar daddy or a sugar mama so I can afford it. So, yeah. So, that's where we're at. So, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So our eggs haven't went up. Our eggs have just been four dollars. Actually, that is high because I feel like eggs used to only be like two dollars, three dollars. But people saying eggs is like thirteen dollars. Like, this is hilarious. Eggs. I have a crush on somebody who like does interviews, and no, I'm not telling y'all. And so they was like, your boo down here. And then I was like, is he looking good? And they was like, sure. But kind of like that shady sure, like, sure, because I don't find him attractive and I don't know why you do. That's That was like the sure that they gave me. And I was just like, so disrespectful. Like, I just don't understand. I just ate and just brushed my teeth again. Oh, why are you in a hospital? Yes, I'm in LA. Y'all, y'all will never know who it is. I promise. Um, I'm too. Sh no, I'm not shy. I just think sometimes it's more fun liking someone from afar than actually trying to talk to them. And I would never like try to talk to somebody in this industry. So. Like, I would never pursue, pursue that. Um, yes, it is pouring down rain here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nuke. Nuke killer, sorry. I hope you feel better soon. No, it's not Brandon. Um, so yeah, so, so yeah, but I wouldn't date anyone like that. I have to be in close proximity with all the time. I'm not going to give y'all no more hints, okay? Y'all really, I'm telling y'all, y'all do not know who it is, I promise. It is no one I've ever collabed with, okay? Thank you very much. Crushes do be more fun. Like, it's more, sometimes you, you know how you just have a better relationship in your mind? Like... I think it's so much more fun than actually meeting that person and talking to that person. I don't know why, but I just find it more entertaining than actually ended up dating someone or being disappointed. So now you know they ain't black. What you trying to say, Nathan? What you trying to say? So yeah, you see how my first marriage ended. So what else do you have to do after that new killer? I see you. I, I see you. I see you, Nathan. They can't do any wrong. But y'all see what happened with my first husband. Like, I thought it was going to be forever. Literally thought it was going to be forever. And you see what happened. So, yeah. And then once you get to really know somebody, like, three more rounds. Like, how many, how many weeks for each round?
Let us know how we can help New Killer, please. Like, let me know. Not live on your couch. I'm trying. I lost I lost three pounds this week. I don't know how much I've gained back being here and drinking and stuff, but I have been making healthier choices. I will say that. Like I've only been eating fish. They had like fried chicken and you know, I only I took the bread off of it. I just had like a piece of it. Um, uh, but I really didn't eat nothing at the reception because it was like all unhealthy food. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to do better. Oh, okay. Make sure you drinking your water and stuff. I have heard of Wegovi, and I actually set up an appointment with a bariatric doctor. Is it bariatric? I think it's bariatric. And um, I set up a, a meeting. I have a doctor's appointment on the 31st to meet with a bariatric doctor um, in regards to, like, my weight loss goals. No, I'm not trying to have surgery. I really want to lose the weight, um, really because I just want to be a fitness influencer. So that's why I want to, like lose it without uh having to do uh the weight loss surgery and because I just feel like you know I've actually talked to a lot of people who have had uh weight loss surgery and basically some of the issues that they have is like for a while like you a lot of them had like problems with like nausea and things like that and you know, not really being able to eat anything because like you take just a few bites and you're always full. Um, so it's just, is that's why I haven't really wanted to do weight loss surgery. And I think also too, um, I looked into Wegovy, Wegovy, Ozempic, um, Man, Manjaro. I think those are like the three, uh, weight loss drugs, which also, which were first created, um, to help with type 2 diabetes. Is it type 2 or type 1? I feel like it's type 2 um, diabetes. Um, but I'm a little scared about that now because I know that a lot of people who were taking like Ozempic or people who were taking um, the Wegovy, they had nausea, like very nauseous because there's certain like doses that they're supposed to put you on. So I know people like had issues with that as well. Um, so I I would try it, but I don't want to be nauseous. So like, Yusuf, have you have you used it? Because I know a lot of people. Um, no, I actually know people who take. I know people who've taken Manjaro. I know people who've taken um, Wegovy. So I've actually like been talking to people who actually like take it, and I, I talked to my mom who has diabetes because I wanted her to get on it because she actually has diabetes, like what the medicine is actually intended for uh, just to help her on her weight loss uh, journey as well. Um, so, so yeah. And I've had a friend who took Ozempic um, because they had type two. And then, you know, once they lost the weight, they were able to get off of not have diabetes and stuff like that. So um, that's just some of my worries about it. Um, but so yeah, um, it's Ozempic is the other one beast. It's Ozempic, Wegovy, Manjaro, Manjaro. I don't know how to say the third one. Um, so yeah, so it like does, does something to like the sugar in your body. You're not really hungry. You don't have cravings. Um, but the only problem is a lot of people who have taken the drug have like once they stop taking it because I think you really need to take it. Um, you have to take it forever. Um, cause some people have put the weight back on and that's, and, and that's my only thing about why I've been wanting to do it like this, because, um, I think that you really have to help also help teach people how to live a healthy lifestyle, how to make healthier choices, because even if you do live, like lose the weight and that's great, you still haven't taken the time to, um, educate and help people understand like how their eating habits um got them to where they are right so with me like I had to stop eating fast food I don't I haven't been to McDonald's baby I was eating McDonald's like three times a week and it wasn't even like it was really just a convenience thing because I was so busy like I'll 
it'd be two o'clock and my head starts hurting. I'm like, oh, your hair hurts because you haven't eaten today. And so I'm like, well, let me run and get some McDonald's real quick because I got to get back to work. I got a meeting and then I got to do interviews or I got to go do this. And so I had terrible eating choices. But also, because I got into it with my mom, she really upset me. I'm still, I'm still low-key beefing with her and and my other family members because I really want us to stop doing this. And I don't know how it is in other communities, but I'm just speaking from the Black community, and especially when it comes to like the matriarchs of the families talking to their young Black girls and like women, young women. I really want us to stop talking about weight. Like I was having a conversation and um, cause you know, I have like the pillow, like the sis, the tailbone sis that I always get. And she was like, this is my, not her, my, my grandma said this. And she was like, well, you know what, what will stop it? And I was like, well, what? Cause she said she had been doing research on it. And she was like, well, if you lose weight. And I was like, first of all, first of all, it's not a weight thing. Cause I asked my doctor, was it a weight thing? And he was like, no, it's just something that affects people. It doesn't matter how much you weigh. I've seen skinny people. I've seen bigger people. Your weight has nothing to do with it. It's something you're born with. Either it affects you or it doesn't, but that's it. And I was just like, you know, I really wish that you would stop bringing up my weight because it's just unnecessary because I also think that there's a stigma because they see somebody that's overweight. Y'all know from watching my stories, I work out four to five times a week. I'm in Orange Theory or I started back doing my Peloton. So like just because somebody's overweight doesn't mean that they don't eat healthy. It doesn't mean that they don't work out. And I really feel like we need to get out of that stigma because it's just, it's too much. And then I was like, that only adds to my depression that I have, I've been battling depression about my weight. Um, Y'all see that I don't post, I don't post photos on social media because I'm embarrassed about my weight gain. Like it truly bothers me so much. And, and people are always shocked when I tell them how much my body like hinders me because I was telling a friend, I was like, I felt like for 2022, I was living life but I was living life in silence, right? Like I went to Bali. I didn't post no pictures. Like I didn't post no static pictures. I'll post stories, but I didn't post any static pictures from my Bali trip, like for my birthday. I was depressed most of my trip because I didn't have my bag. So I was really depressed about my weight, my weight issues. Um, And I just felt like I didn't, I didn't brag on myself for the things that I did. I went to movie premieres. I went to like TV show premieres and I didn't post any of it, of it because I was ashamed of my weight. And so that's why I said this year, like I'm going to live, I'm going to live freely and I'm going to like, I'm going to meet my body where it is right now. And I think that like when we talk about body positivity, like we just have to meet ourselves where we are right now. And I know that the journey that I'm on is like a year long journey. This is not, I'm not going to be skinny tomorrow. I'm not going to be skinny three months from now. Like it's a year long journey that I'm on. Right. And I think that we have to start teaching people. We have to start teaching ourselves. We have to start teaching our family members that you have to meet my body. You have to meet my body where it is right now. And you constantly bringing up my weight or trying to relate something back to my weight. And the fact that we only do this. We only do this with women, okay? Like, and I'm speaking like in the black community, because I asked my mom. So I was getting, I was telling my mom what happened with my grandma. And then she was like, well, I just really want us both to get healthy and, you know, lose weight. And then I was like, okay. I said, do you talk to my brothers? Like, do you have these conversations with my brothers? And she was like, what do you mean? You know, I don't talk to your brothers like, like that. And I was like, but my brothers have actual health ailments high blood pressure, sleep apnea, like literally like cholesterol issues. They actually have health ailments and are older than me. And you only have this conversation with me when it comes to my weight. And that's not, I was like, do you see the problem in that? Now, if you're having this conversation with everybody, then that's fine. But you're only having this conversation with me because I'm a woman. And that's not okay. Like, you don't see the problem in that. You don't see how you're being overly critical on me. I have all these other great things that are happening for me, but you are so consumed 
on my weight. Like that's going to be the end, the end all be all. So I, I, I was like, I'm going to have to talk to you later. And she was like, don't be like that. And this is like the most manipulative thing that the matriarchs of the family do. This is what she said. Baby, I'm just telling you, I love you. And if I can't tell you the truth, then who's going to tell you the truth? Shaming someone for their body, that's not love. That's not love. That's not love. So I said, hey, um, I'm going to talk to you later. I'm going to talk to you. Once you start having these conversations with your sons who are older than me, like then we can have these conversations. But I said, you know what? I'm just going to call you when I'm skinny. And she was like, Sharada, don't be like that. I said, no, I'll call you when I'm skinny. So then maybe you could find something else to talk about instead of my weight. And I had to be done. Like, because it's, it's so crazy, like, to go through this with my family. And then, like I told you, when I've been having, seeing the OBGYN, and she claims, like, if I lose weight, like, it's going to stop these issues. And I'm just like, there really has to be like weight sensitivity training that happens with doctors because they blame everything on your weight. It is so ridiculous how if they see somebody that is overweight, that they literally blame it on the weight. They're not even going to try to look for another reason. They're not going to look for another reason because you're overweight. They're automatically going to say that that is the reason that you're having the health issues that you're having. It's because of your weight gain. That is really crazy. Okay. Can you come in? Um, I'm leaving in like an hour. I'll be gone. I appreciate you. Thank you. You too. Baby, when I say they be on it, they be on it, okay? So, yeah. So, um, I know I got into, like, a whole soapbox thing. But, honestly, that's really, I've been going through it, y'all. Like, and to be honest, I know y'all see me, like, work it out and stuff. And I really wish I could say that I'm working out so I can, um lose weight but honestly I've been working out it, it's crazy because it was funny someone was doing like the person that goes and like interviews people in random places so he went to the gym and he was like why are you working out today and she, she was like so I don't kill myself and then he just looked and I was like that is highly accurate I've literally been going to work out so I don't have a nervous breakdown because I feel stressed and I'm working on having like better time management and how to better balance things. But I work out for my mental health. And there's there's a documentary actually that Jonah, Jonah Hill um, directed where he talked about how he had issues with how his mom like approached his weight and how it's crazy because they don't teach you about the health benefits of working out outside of weight loss how working out actually releases endorphins in your brain to give you a positive attitude, like how working out can help your mental health. I literally work out to have a positive mindset for the rest of the day because it literally sends endorphins that make your, like it clears your mind. It puts you in a better state of mind, a more positive state of mind. And nobody actually talks about how exercise truly helps with mental health. They don't, like, people really don't talk about it. And I really love that he approached that in his documentary because we've made working, like, we made working out and losing weight and diets. We made it so, it feels so overbearing to say you're in a diet. So that's why I tell people, they're like, so what are you doing for, like, your weight loss? I said, I'm just making healthier eating choices. Well, what diet are you doing? I'm not doing a diet because a diet is not something that you can maintain for the rest of your life. No, I wanted a piece of fried chicken last night. I had a piece of fried chicken. I took the bread in off and I ate my chicken. I had a little mini burger. I took the, the bread off, but I still ate the burger. Okay. You can't deny yourself or deprive yourself of certain things because it's just not realistic. You're not going to go through the rest of your life not having a burger, not having a french fry, not having ice cream. That's just not realistic. You can have your meal. We have bad days. And you know what? 
tomorrow we're going to get up and we're going to we're going to do better today. That's it. That's it. But we don't teach people and and that's what's so funny because if I really was able to have an honest conversation, you know, I would tell tell my mother how complicit she was in my weight gain because when I was young, I ate for breakfast, honey, McDonald's, Hardee's, like a honey bun with a mystic or some some powdered donuts in a mystic or some blueberry muffins in a mystic every single day for breakfast. Every single day for breakfast, that's what I ate. Every single day for breakfast. When we get off, um, because my mom was a single mom. My dad passed away when I was five. She was single. She had three kids to take care of. She ran her own business and she worked a full-time job. And, you know, she was working. So she couldn't always cook. Sometimes she cooked, but not always. And McDonald's, Taco Bell, like KFC for dinner. But we don't talk about that. We don't talk about how parents be complicit in our eating habits, but they always got something to say about you being overweight, but they don't never want to take the responsibility that they, like, the part that they play in you developing horrible eating habits. I'm just saying. Um, quick advice for upcoming YouTubers. Be yourself. Be different. Like, be different. Do not do, don't be the same like everybody else. Just be different. Just be different. Um, so yeah. Sometimes you just want some chips, y'all. It's okay. Sometimes you just want some chips. You just can't be eating chips every single day. You can have chips, okay? You can go eat that burger, okay? Just when you eat that burger. Know that you had that burger, and we're going to go back to making healthy choices the rest of the day. That's it. You don't have to deprive yourself to, like, to be healthy or to, and to be honest, like, this is another thing that I truly hate because everyone always, if you if you ever sick or you're overweight, this person, they say, well, have you thought about going plant-based? You know, this food is just so, the eating meat is just so bad for you. Eating meat is not bad for you. I'm going to say that again. Eating meat, eating meat is not bad for you. It's how the government regulations for food and the conditions that they allow animals to be raised in, um, the plants that we use in order to like package food, that's what's bad for you, okay? So meat isn't bad for you. It's how the government allows them to to raise, to kill, like, the pollution, the pollutants that the animals are raised around. So it's just like, yeah. And plant-based, eating plant-based, that's, it's expensive. Like, people be talking about it's so cheap to eat plant-based. Actually, not really, because your stuff is going to expire. Like, you have to, you won't be going to a grocery store, like, every couple of days. And also be careful, a lot of the plant-based, like, pre-packaged stuff, it has a lot of sodium in it. So unless you're really, like, making your own food and stuff like that, plant-based can be dangerous, too. There's a lot of soy, which is bad for black women. So a lot of soy in it, a lot of sodium and pre-packaged, um, and the pre-packaged plant-based foods. So I'm just saying... None of this food is safe. Why do I have the lip gloss or to do thing? So yeah. Um I really wish more people talked about like how expensive plant-based is not to discourage people from it but that's why I was so mad when like the what the health movie came out because I felt like people only focus like on I feel like they only focus on a certain portion of that but when the doctors they didn't focus on how doctors are basically only taught to treat symptoms and not to talk about prevention and also to how there's a lot of skinny people 
out here who are dying of heart attacks and they're so unhealthy on the inside, but they look healthy on the outside. I just wish more people like talked about that. But that's the thing too, Nunu being like, people don't know that certain birth controls can cause weight gain. Like there's certain illnesses, people who have fibroids, people who, you know, it's crazy because somebody was, it was so crazy because um, I think Selena Gomez has lupus, right? And somebody was like, oh, Selena Gomez, she looked big. And I was like, don't say that. I was like, she has lupus. And that's like, that's one of the things that people I know, like they swell up. And I was like, but see, y'all always want to say that being big has something to do with you not working out. And there's medical conditions that cause people to gain weight. There's medication side effects that cause you to gain weight, thyroid issues. Like people don't really talk about that. And I just, I really hate that we, we just really judge people without even trying to get to know them or know their circumstances. And it's just really sad that people do that. I would have Bernie Metcalf. Oh, sarcoidosis. Any type of inflammation, like, it'd just be crazy. Well, also too, Talia, a lot of sometimes people gain weight being plant based because they consume more carbs. They eat a lot of breads, a lot of pasta, so stuff like that too. <clears throat> yeah, no, nah. you know, you know what, Erica? I actually go to the grocery store. I go to the grocery store at least at the at the bare minimum twice a week because I like to just have fresh. I don't like to buy too much up front because that's how I waste food a lot. So I just go get like I, I'm a very basic eater. I'll just go get some fish, like some sable fish or some salmon and I'll just get Brussels sprouts or sweet potatoes or broccoli and just put it in the air fryer so yeah exactly you truly have to be growing your own foods because none of this stuff is really that healthy for you And I feel you, her real you know actually with this this time around and I think the reason that um, uh, air fryer is a very great investment, Rodney. Um, I think that I didn't tell people that I was like trying to lose weight or I was trying to be healthy. I think I just started working out and I didn't start at New Year's. I actually started a couple of weeks ago back in December. I just said, what's the point of waiting an additional like two weeks to change my life? I might as well just get a head start right now. And I think that I don't think friends sometimes understand how they can be like detrimental to that process. Like, you know, I had a friend who I was talking, I was eating ice cream and I was on FaceTime with them. That's like, you shouldn't be eating that because you're on a diet. And I was just like, why can't I just enjoy my ice cream? Like, you don't have to deprive yourself of things to lose weight. I had a bad day. I just wanted a taste of ice cream. Okay, that's it. I don't eat ice cream every day. I actually haven't had ice cream in a minute, couple, like a month and a half. But when people start policing you and what you do and they start becoming overly critical of that, that's not people, that's not people being supportive. And I think in their minds, they truly believe that they're being supportive, but they're not. And one, I sent a picture of my dress to, that I was wearing, I'm wearing for a Sunday. And they were like, oh, I think it looks great. You just need like a little shaper. And I was just like, but why did you have to say a shaper? Why can't you just meet my, this is my body today. This is my body. I can't make no changes. I can't drop two dress sizes from now until five days from now. Like just meet me where I am. And it's those like little things. And it could be like, oh, Sharana, you're projecting. And maybe a little bit might be projection, but it's some little nitpicky things that people say like, this is my body. So why do I need to wear a body shaper? I got a gut. You're going to get this gut, baby. And I'm still going to serve it with this gut. So I think that the biggest thing is you have to take it a day at a time. And you just, you, I'll tell you, just stick with it for like three weeks. And like, 
you'll be at the point where I literally feel guilty because I haven't worked out in two days. I feel guilty that I haven't worked out. And it was funny because I went to Orange Theory and they didn't, I like to be social distance when I go to Orange Theory because I'm still very like COVID conscious. And, um, and I left because it was too many people by me and it was too much happening. And I was like, I need to work out. Like I said, I was going to work out five days this week because I know I'm going to be drinking and I know I'm going to be like going to parties. And I got on a Peloton and it was funny in the middle of me working out the other day, I was like, I was like, Beach, like, you are really going to do this this time. Like, you're really going to stick to this and lose the weight. Because the fact that I had to dust off my Peloton and I had to figure out how to use it again. And I had to, I just squeezed in, I had to squeeze in a 20 minute workout because I had to start the work day. I need to go get my hair done. I had stuff I had to do. And I said, I'm going to work out for 20 minutes today. Like, I'm going to do some type of workout. And I did it. And I was just like, wow, like, you're really going to do this this time. Like, you're really going to be on this weight loss journey and give it your all. And, you know, the, it's the first time I've ever done it by myself without telling somebody what I was going to do or asking people to hold me accountable. Like, you just got to do it for yourself. So I would say don't depend on somebody else to motivate you. Um, because if they forget to motivate you one day or, you know, they forget to ask you about it, then you're going to backslide and you just, you really can't depend on other people. Like you really have to do it for yourself. And it's to the point where now my friends are like, Sharna, you be working out so much that I had to start working out. Cause I was like, I can't be telling her, um, you know, cause I told you my friend did this whole intervention. Like, I'm just really fearful. You've had McDonald's three times this week and I'm really fearful for your life. Like I'm scared for you. And I was like, girl, it was just McDonald's. Like, and it was like, what you fear for my life? Like I'm like, whatever. <sighs> I've come a long way, but you got to bet on yourself. And if you cannot depend on other people, like you, for something like this, it is the battle of your own willpower. You have to do it for yourself. You you cannot look for other people to encourage you. You can't look for people to be like, did you work out today? Like you just got to do it for yourself. And I promise you, your life will change. You will be happy. Don't do this for no weight loss. Do it for your mental peace. Because if you're doing it for your mental peace and not weight loss, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. So, like, you know, it's just baby steps. Like, that's it. It's just baby steps. So, if, if you need encouragement, you can DM me. That's why I post my workouts every day. Because you might be like, oh, I'm not going to work out. And then you see, oh, dang, Sharana then went to the gym again. Let me go ahead and get my butt up and go to the gym. That's why I post it. It's, it's just a, it's not to hold you accountable is to inspire you to go to the gym. Do that run. Get your mind right. Especially if you're having a bad day, go work out. Go work out. It's kind of like, I be like, when when I take a shower early in the, in the day, I be like, dang, it's nine o'clock and I didn't already wash my behind today. I didn't really accomplish something. That's how working out feel. So yeah, like, that's what I would tell people. Um... <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, we all had a moments we forget. We'd be like, dang, I gotta get up. I didn't woke up out of my sleep at three in the morning to go wash my face. Um, you was gonna file a missing persons report. <laughs> um, so yeah, so like if y'all need encouragement, like y'all can message me, like please let me know. But once I lose this weight, honey, the way I'm gonna be a fitness influencer and switch it up on y'all. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. I'm going to start doing movie reviews while I'm working out. <laughs> I haven't listened to this is album yet. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll be listening. What I, I don't. I'm kind of stuck on the Elton John tribute that her did. 
Cause she like, did y'all watch the Elton John tribute? It was like her. I forgot who the other lady was. And then it was Demi. Demi had me so disappointed. I said, not Demi. What was you doing? What was you doing? I don't think I haven't seen heavyweights in so long that I gotta I gotta go look look at that. I was just like, Demi is starting to be like like the Jennifer Hudson is singing. Like we know they can sing, but they just need to like tone it down a little bit. Um, I don't think you knew Killa. But for real, keep us updated, like with your health and stuff. Let us know if you need something. Well, Brandon, makeup brushes, baby, whatever is around. I'll be using e.l.f. I'll be using Morphe. I don't, I just be using whatever. Um, but yeah, if if y'all need anything, Dia, scream me. Okay. And I'll be like, honey, you don't have to do that. Okay. I don't, I don't know what they got going on, but I'd be like, you ain't gotta do all of that. Um, but yeah, if y'all need encouragement, like just message me. It takes me forever. It might be easier if you do a Twitter DM, but I will eventually see it. Um, actually, I forgot to set my makeup. Thank you for reminding me. Um, are you talking about the powder? I just do it's fancy. I if y'all trying to know how to do y'all makeup, honestly, like how I learned how to do my makeup, I watched a lot of YouTube tutorials. It was a lot of trial and error, baby. We didn't went through some times, okay? Um, but actually, I would go get my makeup done at like Sephora or or Mac, and you know, and you'll just just go when you need to buy stuff because you know if you spend a certain amount, you get your makeup done, and have them show you, like have them do one. And you do the other, and they'll kind of coach you on how to do it. That's how I learned how to do my makeup. You know, it's really crazy, Joshua. Like, you do feel better when you start making healthier, like, eating choices and stuff. Um, like, today, I mean, I, now nah, I didn't eat good. Eh, it wasn't that bad. I had, like, a breakfast sandwich, like, a uh, uh, just, like, a bacon, egg, and cheese on, like, a little brioche uh, bun. But I had, like, some fruit and... For my size, I just have fruit and some uh and some yogurt. Um, and I had some beet juice. But yeah, you just don't have to overdo it. And I only I eat to be content. I don't eat to be full anymore. Like once I feel like I'm about to get full, I stop eating. I don't finish whatever's left on my plate, like I'll take that and eat it later. Um so yeah. And I drink a lot of water. A lot of water. As soon as I wake up, I drink 16 ounces of water. You shouldn't drink more than 32 ounces every hour, though. So, yeah, water gives you some clear skin, okay? And honestly, one of my biggest things that I've been scared about, because I have, like, Let's see. I was like two Sunday. I was two thirty seven when I weighed myself before I left. I was I got down to two thirty four. I'm concerned about like loose skin because I have. I don't know what weight I want to be at, y'all. To be quite honest with you, like I don't know what that weight looks like. For my first goal, I just want to be at one ninety nine because I don't. Is it might have been like four years. Maybe five years since I've been under 200 pounds. So, like, honestly, I just, right now, I'm just trying to get to Wonderland, like, that 199. And now I understand, like, I used to watch Biggest Losers all the time, like, why people started crying when they made it to, like, the 100s. Because, like, I haven't been under 200 pounds since literally, like, in years. In years, I haven't been under 200 pounds. So, that's my first goal is to... Get to 199, and I think after that, I want to get to 175. And then once I see how I look at once after 175, I might try to get to 150, but I don't know if I want to go past, I don't know if I want to be past 150. The lowest I've ever weighed was 135. When I look back at pictures, like I was like, you can see my bones, so I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but you know, I got a big head, so then like I had like a little bobble head, so that wasn't cute. Um, but my first goal is to get to 199 and then I want to be 199, 175, 150, and then 
will just reevaluate after all of that. Um, but I'm concerned about my breasts. So one of the things I've been reading up on is like to avoid loose skin, you have to keep your body moisturized. So I actually, um, I've been taking collagen now and like with my protein, I take like, I mix it with unsweetened almond milk. Um, I use a plant-based protein powder, vegan one, the French vanilla is really good. It tastes like Captain Crunch Berries, but not with the crap I'm mixing in because it changes the taste. So I mix that with collagen and my greens and, uh, and I have actually started, I use three different moisturizers. <laughs> and you know what? I didn't bring it. And I totally see the difference because I've been ashy. I use like the Palmer's. They have like a stretch mark one because I have like, I don't know if y'all can even see it. I have like light stretch marks. Can you see it? Like I, I just have white stretch marks. Like typically it goes away when I lose weight. Um, So I put like a stretch mark queen, queen, cream on um my stretch marks i only have them on like my love handles um, but i also put it like on the inside of my thighs and on my boobs because you can get stretch marks once you start losing weight and then i put like coconut oil palmer's coconut oil lotion and then i put like an actual palmer's like a oil that has like vitamin e it has collagen in it and all of that um so and actually um Lamont from Life Gains, he actually put me on game, like on making sure I'm moisturized and stuff. So shout out to Lamont because he's actually been checking in with me and um helping me through my my weight loss journey. So I appreciate you, Lamont. Um, and go follow him because he does cool reviews and stuff too. Um, and also you have to lift weights. I know people say that, like, I know that people say cardio, 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 but that's actually how a lot of people do get loose skin because you have to tighten your skin back up. Um, so the collagen is to help your skin on the inside, to help rebuild your skin on the inside. The water helps with your skin as well. And um, also I'm going to do the dry brushing because it gets off the dead skin cells and causes new skin cells to form. Oh my God. Hello? Hello? Okay. They keep playing on my phone. Um, so, let me make sure ain't nobody trying to call me. What other? Okay. So those are different things, but do not just do cardio. You need to lift weights. That's how you build muscle. It's how you tone. Most people try to like lose the weight and they try to only do cardio, but that's how people begin to lose skin too. And especially if you lose weight too quickly, that's why I say do not do no crash diet or none of that stuff. It's, it's just not worth it. But yeah. So we can definitely keep each other motivated. Um, Maybe we can do like a WhatsApp group just for like the people that's trying to work out. If if you guys, I can create a WhatsApp group and we can just post like, we can post us eating healthy or we can post us like, hey, I just did my workout, what y'all got going. We can just post little stuff like that to help keep people like encouraged. Oh, and and oh, wow, you went from 550 to 280. Okay, what did you do, Nokilla? Y'all know I don't know how to use this, Corey. Y'all gonna teach me how to use it. But sometimes just seeing other people working out, be like, let me go get my behind up. I look into that. Better eating happens, lots of walking. Yeah, I also, like, I try not to do nothing, like, super, super, like, Orange Theory gets intense sometimes, but, like, I also modify some of the workouts, because 
What somebody also doesn't tell you is that when you're bigger, you have a lot of information. So it's easier for you to sustain an injury while working out. And this was one of my pet peeves um, and why I decided not to have a personal trainer for my workout, my weight loss journey. Because I think sometimes like with the trainers, like they get so, they get so like, your workout can't be the same for everybody that you trained, okay? And a lot of people, like, they would try to have you doing the same workout as somebody who's healthy and athletic, and that's just not possible. Like, they have, like, a lot of jumping, but what you have to worry about is when you're bigger, you are putting a lot of weight on your joints. And also, too, collagen helps, like, your muscles, your joints recover. Like, it's not just for hair, skin, and nails and stuff like that. There's other health benefits to collagen. Um, but... <laughs> Oh, sorry. I don't know why my nose keeps running. Um, you can't do the same thing that everybody else is doing. You got to meet yourself where you're at. So when they be doing a whole lot of jumping, I don't do that, okay? Like, I modify so I'm still targeting the same areas, but you don't have to do all that stuff. And that's why I think that some some trainers, that's why you got to be careful who you go to because they try to use the same workouts and stuff and everybody trains differently. One second, I got to use back. I got to. All that water, you're going to have to use the bathroom. Um, so, yeah, I actually hurt my knee before and my ankle doing stuff like that. So, I also tell them I'm not doing that. You're going to have to modify. Yeah, Rodney, like, you got to do what works for your body and you have to be. Yeah, see how I wash my hands? Like, I just want to make sure I'm still leading by example, Show, showing people how they can wash their hands. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ain't doing all that jumping and hopping around. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, if y'all need encouragement, like, let me know. I just be, it's a part of my uh, daily routine now. I go and um, I work out during my lunch break. And I work out at, like, 12. I work out at 12 o'clock during my lunch break. If I can't fit it in during the work day, then I go at, like, 7 at night. See, this is why I hate the finger waves because like the back always be coming up it's okay we're gonna make it through it we gonna make it we gonna make it not michael my what are michael myers feet what does that mean let's hope i can fit this because when i say i was just pulling stuff out of the closet off the clothing rack didn't know if I could fit it or not because I was trying to make this flight. Yeah, I think personal trainers, like if your personal trainer isn't correcting you on your form, you, you got to get a new personal trainer. That's another thing too, like they just be letting you do stuff. They don't correct you on your form.
more like like yeah The Last of Us is going to be good. I can't wait to talk about it. I should do a makeup tutorial. I'm terrible at makeup tutorials. I just know how to do makeup for my face. I'm sure I'll be doing stuff wrong, using wrong techniques. Yo, what am I finna ask Eddie? Can y'all give me some Eddie Murphy questions, please and thanks? Like, I can't believe I'm finna talk to Eddie Murphy. One on one, like it's really Eddie. How am I? What, what am I gonna ask? Y'all got some questions for Eddie? I'm scared of him. He's virtual because he's not here, so I won't be so nervous, but Okay, I like the driving force. Okay. I like the what's your driving for kept you motivated. Sorry, not trying to turn this into an OnlyFans. That's why I'm like halfway in the, in the shot. Yeah, I've seen the movie. You know, I'm going to keep my comments to myself for now. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep my comments to myself. I'm trying to keep it related to the film. Natalie, oh, you know what, D? You texted me, and I'm so sorry I forgot to respond. In my mind, I was like, dang, I gotta respond to D before she disown me. The moment of truth. Can I actually fit this dress? You know, I've learned from the Chris Evans interview, we can't ask them to rate or name people because they be getting weird. Um, just DM me, Bougie Barbie on Instagram. And I'll try to make it when I'm sitting in hospitality. I can make it on WhatsApp for now until I learn how to use Discord. Okay, I can fit the dress. Happy Saturday.
Didn't they just premiere a new season? I do have a TikTok. I just never use it. I'm trying to do better about that too. Uh, Rodney, can you start the WhatsApp group? And I could just, and, or I'll do it. I'll just send a link to everybody. Had to sit in the titties. Oh. Okay. You can kind of see my my booty, my booty cards. You yeah, know what the booty cards are? It's like you be having like the little dimples. Maybe I should say booty dimples instead of booty cards. But it's okay. They just gonna get some booty, some booty dimples today. Sorry. They just gonna get some booty dimples because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But I do know I need some earrings. You do know that. Thank you, Nathan. Happy New Year to you too. I was really upset about somebody winning the jackpot. Do you use uh? Ooh, these are heavy, y'all. Do you use Twitter? I don't know if I mean if I can figure out how to read my DMs with TikTok. No, I have in-person interviews with the cast of you people. Are these okay or are they too much? Or do you guys like them? What are we thinking? How are we feeling? So I wear these. I don't have to wear a necklace because these are enough. Then I feel like it's provocative. It keeps the conversation going. Y'all be sleeping on these dollar, these dollar earrings at Sheen, y'all. Y'all really be sleeping on it. Y'all need to wake up. That's what y'all need to do. Y'all need to wake up on these dollar earrings, okay? Because the dollar earrings be giving, honey. Giving, okay? I just want y'all to know that. Be like, oh, where'd you get your earrings from? I'll be like, baby... It's a dollar fifty on Shein. Shein, you heard about my girl Shein? Shein be having the looks for the Lolo, okay? Mm -mm. They're pretty easily. The way I can breathe through my nose. Y'all want me to post photos of this? I'm just going to 
going downstairs to do an interview. I'm going to come right back up and put some sweatpants on. What you mean? As soon as I get done, these clothes come off. I forgot the type of material I had on. I really tried it just now. I tried it just now. All right. All right, y'all. Got to go downstairs. I got to come up with some questions because I've been talking to y'all the whole time. And I'm supposed to be coming up with questions, okay? So let me do that. Go downstairs. And I will talk with y'all soon. That's a lie. I ain't going to talk to y'all soon, but I'll make sure to talk to y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Who just jinxed me about these earrings? I must not have put it back on it. I hope everybody has a great day. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm Okay. Well, clearly these earrings don't break because you saw how many times I just dropped these earrings. Okay. I got to get my life together, y'all, because I'm late. I'm supposed to be downstairs. Okay. I will chat with y'all soon. I hope that everybody has a great rest of their weekend. I love you guys. 3,000. And I will work. Actually, I'm going to try to work on doing The Last of Us. As soon as I get back upstairs, I'm going to work on The Last of Us. And I'm going to pre-record it. So you guys can have it for tomorrow. So you'll have that tomorrow. That I can promise. Okay? Thank y'all for the questions. And I will chat with y'all soon, okay? Have a great day. Love y'all. Bye.